Hey hi uh, Rajan this I welcome back to the channel so we are going to discuss the solution of first three problem in a separate video in this video we are going to discuss four problem so here you are given integer array nums and a sub array of nums is called is stable if it contains no inversion and inversion means uh, if there is a two indices i and j if your nums of i is greater than nums of j means that there is a inversion so you have to find out all those sub array that doesn't contains any inversion right and uh, here uh, you are also given 2d integer queries so you have to handle q queries so in each query you will be given left index and right index and for each query you have to find out how many stable sub arrays that lies inside this between li and ri right so yeah yeah it's a very good problem let's see how we can approach it in order to solve four problem we are going to discuss dynamic programming approach actually i first made a video solution using my ms algorithm completely but after that i discarded it because it was too complicated and uh, i thought it would be hard to understand so that's why i uh, i moved to a dp approach so while making the video i i think of a dp approach and i mean i was able to write a code and it was accepted so i thought let's discuss the dp approach so in this dp approach uh, it's pretty simple it's not that hard so let's see what i'm doing here so <clears throat> first let's understand how your stable uh, sub array would look like we know that a stable sub array means that uh, there is no inversion right no inversion and inversion we know that what is inversion if you have two indices i and j your uh, a of i is greater than a of j means that there is a inversion if i am saying that uh, this array is stable uh, so it means that there is no inversion if there is no inversion what it means there is no previous index whose value is greater than uh, the right index right so here i is less than j so for two indexes i and j if there is no inversion means that there is uh, none of the previous numbers are there whose value is greater than me uh, let's take one example let's say you have 3 2 uh, 4 and 5 see uh, let's see if there is any inversion yes this is one inversion right see 3 is greater than 2 right so if there is no inversion what it means your array would be a non decreasing array a uh, pause the video think of it if a uh, sub array is a uh, stable sub array means there is no inversion and if there is no inversion means that this array would be a non decreasing array so it would look like 1 2 2 3 4 5 6 6 so see the array would be in increasing form so if your array is in increasing form i mean like in increasing order 1 2 2 increasing or same values then like the then only this uh, sub array would be a stable array means that there is no inversion so that was one point if your uh, array is stable means that uh, the array is non decreasing let me quickly write it stable means uh, non decreasing non decreasing non decreasing sub array right so yeah like so once you understand this part the problem is pretty easy now what i have done uh, for each index i for each index i so let's say this is your given array nums for each index i i am first trying to find out what is the leftmost index from where uh, this current uh, number is non decreasing so for example let's say you have 1 2 2 1 4 and 3 so let's say this is my l array so for 0 for index 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 right for this your l is 0 i mean the leftmost index from where the uh, current i mean from where to current index i is a non decreasing like this table 0 0 0 0 0 0 all these are uh, increasing right non decreasing now but here interestingly this would be 3 see for this this is a no, like this is not a stable sub array right so only this is a stable sub array so that's why the index is now uh, the value of l is now changed to 3 for 4 again 3 see this is a stable sub array but here this value is 5 because 4 3 1 4 3 this is not a stable sub array so i hope you understand what is this l so it would be so l of i l of i is nothing but L of i is nothing but the leftmost index from where your this sub array. So the leftmost index, let's say that index is j. Let the leftmost index j from where 
द सबेरे फ्रॉम इंडेक्स जे टू आई इज अ स्टेबल सबेरे दैट सिट अबाउट एल ऑफ आई राइट सिमिलरली आर एफ आई जस्ट एग्जैक्टली रिवर्स ऑफ इट सो आर एफ आई इज नथिंग बट द राइट मोस्ट इंडेक्स सच दैट फो द राइट मोस्ट इंडेक्स जे सच दैट फ्रॉम इंडेक्स आई टू जे दिस दिस सबेरे इज ए स्टेबल सबेरे राइट सो या Uh, so once you understand L R is exactly the reverse of it. So I'm not going to explain it once again. So R of n minus so uh, so L of zero is zero itself, like the first uh, number. Now for one to n, if your current number is greater than or equal to previous number, your leftmost index is going to be same as the previous uh, leftmost index, right? So L of i is equal to L of i i minus one. Otherwise, if your like if your current number is more than sorry, like if your current number is less than the previous number. then your like you have to update your l of i so l of i is nothing but i now similarly your r of n minus 1 like the last number the last the, like the ra the right value of l n minus 1 is going to be n minus 1 itself now for index i minus 2 to i equals to 0 i minus minus if your current number is greater than or equals to next number your right index is going to be the same the rightmost index is going to be same as the next uh, rightmost index otherwise R of i is equal to y. Uh, let me quickly uh, explain it through example for better clarity. Let's say you have one, two, one, five, one, three, zero, one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the index value. Now let's see how R would look like. So for the rightmost value, your uh, R is going to be same. C. Uh, if your current number is uh, less than or equal to the next number, your uh, right index is going to be same, right? See, this is a stable subarray. For five, now see, five one is not a stable subarray because five is more than one, right? So here your r is going to be three, one five again three because this is a stable subarray. For two again one because two is more than one, right? But for one two this is one. See, this is one. What it means? This is a stable subarray. so i hope you understand about lnr so this is your lnr calculation of lnr now let's come to dp so here uh, dp of i is nothing but let me write it down dp of i is number of stable sub array in array from 0 to i 0 to i so this is the definition of dp so whenever you see a dp problem first write down what like what is your dp of i like what dp of i would restore the information right so this is very important in dp problem i i bet you like so if you have a very clear and understanding uh, definition of dp you would solve the problem pretty quickly so This is what DP of I. Uh, DP of I is nothing but the stable subarray, number of stable subarray in the array from zero to I. So for DP of and after that, just write a base case. So DP of zero is nothing but one because you have just one number, right? So DP of zero is one. Now uh, for any general index I, let's say this is uh, my <coughs> uh, given array, right? And So right now I am trying to calculate DP of I. So DP of so in DP of I we have to encounter uh, only those uh, arrays uh, that is from zero to index I. And I want to find. So I am trying to find out what is my DP of I. So first uh, try to see what is the start value. Like what is the leftmost value from which your uh, this subarray is a non-decreasing subarray, right? So let's say this is my start value. This is my start value. right see we know that from this start and this start is nothing but l of i we have already discussed about what is l of i l of i is nothing but the leftmost index from where this subarray is a stable subarray this is start start index and this is l of i and we know that this array is a non decreasing array so this array would so this subarray would look like 1 2 3 3 or something like this right so here if you see how many number of stable subarray which you can get this one this one this one this one, this one. Then this one, this one, this one. What it means? It means that let's so let's say this is the uh, length. So let's say the, like its length is length, nothing but length into length plus one divided by two. Length length plus one divided by two. So these many number of stable subarray which you can get, right? So if all the numbers are in increasing order, then simply like so the total number of stable subarray is nothing but length length plus one divided by two, right? And n plus one divided by two. 
so please pause the video whenever you uh, stuck anywhere you would understand properly so we know what is my start and what is my length length is nothing but i minus start plus 1 so this is the length and uh, dp of i is ln ln plus 1 divided by 2 so this one is table summary which you can get in in this part now similarly uh, like so once you calculate this part your dp just also add uh, plus equals to dp of start minus 1 the reason is dp of i would tell you the number of stable survey in 0 to i right combine 0 to i first we calculate this part then add of add this part so this is a start so in the for so here the index is start minus 1 and dp of so that's why i have done here dp of i is equal to dp of uh first dp of i is equal to ln ln plus 1 divided by 2 plus dp of start minus 1 right uh i hope you understand why i am doing start minus 1 because dp of i would tell you the combine answer from this part and for this part i have already calculated this part uh, uh ln ln plus 1 divided by 2 but since dp of i calculate uh, the all i mean the combination of all possible stable summary that's why we have to add dp of start minus 1 as well right so yeah that's it about the dp how the calculation of dp works uh, if you didn't uh, So if you didn't understand any of the word, please write a comment. I'll explain it out, right? So yeah, dp of i is equal to dp of start minus one plus this part. Now the job is pretty easy. Now see uh, for each query, first find out x and r, x and y. So x is the left index of the query and y is the right index of the query, right? And let's say this is the index zero. So your answer is nothing but uh, dp of y. So dp of y would tell you how many number of stable subarrays are there. in in the survey from 0 to y minus if you subtract it from 0 to x minus 1 dp of x minus 1 right 0 to x minus 1 then what you left so from 0 to y you removed 0 to x minus 1 you left with this right so that's why answer is nothing but dp of y minus dp of x minus 1 but <laughs> but this is not sufficient uh, there might be a case so you have to handle one corner case this is good but you have to handle one corner case here Like we cannot just uh, print out this answer. Let's say, let's say this is my x index and this is y index, but the array was one, two, three, four, five. That's it. And uh, let's say uh, six and seven, for example, right? And we have to find out uh, how many uh, stable subarrays are there from index x to y, right? so if you do just dp of y minus dp of x minus 1 this is not sufficient because if you just uh, subtract dp of x minus 1 what is your dp of x minus 1 dp of x minus 1 is the number of stable subarray from index 0 to x minus 1 right so so it will subtract only this part it will subtract dp of x minus 1 would subtract only those number of stable subarrays that was in in this part right but it won't be removing the part when this one 2 to 3 2 to 4 uh, 2 to 5 when these were the stable subarrays because see in dp of y this would be included right 2 to 3 2 to 4 2 to 5 but if you just subtract dp of x minus 1 this these cases won't be uh, subtracted now in order to subtract this part because see if you like if you just want to find out uh, the values like the number of stable subarray from x to y you have to remove this part also right So to see two two to five, right? See, uh, this is also stable subarray, but that is not subtracted yet. So in order to subtract this part, you can th that is pretty easy. What you can do, uh, let's say this is my x index, right? Uh, this is my index x. First, try to find out uh, what is my like uh, how many uh, number are there here in the left of it. so this number would be calculated using x minus l of x let's see how what is x so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so this is the index x is nothing but 2 here right so in this example x is 2 y is 6 2 minus what is l of x l of x is 0 that is 2 right see and so these two are the number which is uh, on the left side of x and that is in increasing order see 1 2 so what you do here you multiply so how many how many number of subarray which you can get uh, like which are stable in this form 2 into number of increasing uh, like the count of number 
टिल वेन योर दिस सेवर इज इंक्रीजिंग सी वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव मल्टीप्लाई विथ फाइव सो देर आर टेन सेवर इज विच यू हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट सी वन टू थ्री वन टू फोर वन टू फाइव वन टू सिक्स वन टू सेवन देन टू टू थ्री टू टू फोर टू टू फाइव टू टू सिक्स टू टू सेवन सो वी हैव सब्ट्रैक्टेड दिस पार्ट सो द लेफ्ट नंबर कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग x माइनस एल ऑफ x x माइनस एल ऑफ x नाउ द राइट नंबर कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड यूजिंग दिस फॉर्म सो दिस इज नथिंग बट मिनिमम ऑफ y कॉमा आर ऑफ x सो आर ऑफ एक्स वो टेल यू द राइट मोस्ट इंडेक्स सच दैट फ्रॉम करेंट इंडेक्स टू दैट राइट मोस्ट इंडेक्स ऑल द नंबर्स आर इन इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर राइट इन अ नॉन डिक्रीजिंग और इंक्रीजिंग ऑर्डर सो दैट इज आर ऑफ एक्स सो मिनिमम ऑफ आर एस सो द मिनिमम ऑफ आर ऑफ एक्स कम ऑफ वाई राइट बिकॉज वाई कुड बी लेस देन आर ऑफ एक्स दिस इज द मिनिमम माइनस एक्स माइनस वन सॉरी माइनस एक्स प्लस वन टू गेट द लेंथ सो लेट फॉर दैट इंडेक्स फॉर जे सो जे सो वी नो दैट For index i to j, your length is nothing but j minus i plus one. So this is the minimum minus x plus one, and just multiply this with this. So in this example, it is nothing but two into five. See, two into one, two, three, four, and five. So all these are increasing. So five. So two into five, ten. So we have to subtract ten from here. So answer minus equals to ten. Also subtract ten. So then only you will get the your final answer. See. Uh, your result is nothing but dp of y minus dp of x minus one, but you have to subtract the corner case when uh, your array would be in this form. So that is nothing but x minus l of x. That is the number of present, the count of number that is present in the left side of it, and that is increasing order into the number of present on the right side of it, and that is increasing order, and that is uh, minimum of r of x comma y minus x plus one to get the length. So length, so the left length into right length, and just insert it into the answer. and add then return your answer right yeah that's it about the fourth problem uh, if you find the video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any difficulty i know it's not that easy so if you have any difficulty to understand please write a comment i'll i'll resolve it right yeah thank thanks for watching have a nice day